Welcome back to our zoo. I am thrilled to share some exciting news with all of you. Following last week's episode, I was flooded with emails from zoo directors worldwide. After careful consideration, I'm delighted to announce that we have chosen Dr. Benjamin Wilder as the new director of our zoo. But here's the kicker. Dr. Wilder's appointment came with a few unexpected twists and turns. Without hesitation, we embrace all of Dr. Wilder's contingencies, and boy, did he hit the ground running. His first order of business? Building a brand new zoo admin building. From there, he wasted no time in transforming the zoo's entrance into an educational marvel, emphasizing the importance of guest engagement and learning. But Dr. Wilder didn't stop there. With meticulous planning, he relocated the souvenir shop and laid the groundwork on an innovative information station. Each step he took brought us closer to his vision of a zoo that not only entertains, but educates and inspires. And today, we're diving headfirst into the next chapter of Dr. Wilder's bold agenda, community integration. Dr. Wilder's been busy forging partnerships with local schools, 4-H, and the FFA, all in an effort to strengthen our ties with the community. As part of the groundbreaking initiative, we're thrilled to unveil our latest addition, a stunning state-of-the-art greenhouse. More than a structure, this greenhouse will serve as a hub for education and collaboration. Imagine community members coming together to plant food for our beloved zoo animals. This is a testament to Dr. Wilder's commitment to sustainability and community involvement. With Dr. Wilder at the helm, our zoo is not just a place to visit, it's a living, breathing testament to the power of innovation, education, and community spirit. So stay tuned as we continue this incredible journey together. Hello and welcome back to The Build. If this is your first time with us, hello and welcome. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy the content, please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help the channel out. I really do try to answer any questions that you may have in the comment section. So yeah, absolutely. Hit me up in the comment section. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and get on with what we're doing today. So Dr. Wilder was very adamant about making sure that we had a nice greenhouse in our build because he wanted the community to be able to come in and help plant food and be able to help harvest food to help have a sustainable diet for all the animals in the zoo. So that's one thing that we're working on today. And I think it turned out okay. I don't know if I'm 100% happy about it. I may go back and change some things off camera later on. But for the most part, I am pretty happy with it. One thing that I really did like about it was the idea to try and utilize the rainwater, snow, whatever we may have in the area as site water runoff to actually um, water the plants. Trying to be really conservative with the amount of water that we utilize in the park and then of course no water system would be complete without actually having a sprinkler so there i am trying to actually build something that resembles a sprinkler head and then the idea of trying to figure out exactly how to attach that up there and you can see right here i actually decided to do like a, a mist and let's just say it did not stick around i ended up using this very interesting little i think it's a gate piece or a hinge or I don't even remember what it is a European wall decor is what it says so yeah I spent quite a bit of time working on that and trying to figure out exactly how to make it work right and look right and so I decided to take a break from that for a while and do quite a bit of decorating and really I love the comfort conservation pack you find a lot of great pieces in there to be able to utilize to really decorate things up some watering cans just in case they need some watering cans of course buckets and duplicate them over several times flower pots because I mean you're in a greenhouse you definitely are going to need flower pots and maybe they're not used often but you'd want to have easy access to them if need be and here we're planting a bit of the vegetation for our animals and I decided that it looked too weird with just the stem sticking out, which I think is how an actual carrot would be. But I decided to it would give it a bit more color to really pull it up a little bit and let it be seen. But one thing I really did want to focus on was the whole 
water conservation part of it and trying to utilize the rainwater slash snow runoff and so that is really where i ended up spending i feel like the majority of the time trying to figure out how to make that system work and look maybe realistic of course i don't know that i did a great job with that and again that may be something that i end up going back and rebuilding off camera as far as the naming of our zoo we are not going to do that this week i want to thank everyone who has submitted names for the zoo thus far thank you very much we will be naming the zoo next week so if anyone does have any last minute ideas for zoo names make sure you drop them down in the comment section and we will be naming the zoo next week dr wilder is already taking a look at all the zoo names that have already been submitted and he is working on formulating an answer <laughs> so here i am i've built this metal shelf and i'm i guess you're gonna hang up all the shovels and rakes and everything make it look like everything is right there ready to be used if need be and then it's back to playing with the gutter slash pipes <laughs> in the greenhouse and trying to get them just right one thing i did really like the idea of and I did a bit of research on was the um, was both the 4H and the FFA. Now, if you're not familiar with either, the FFA are the Future Farmers of America. And I know we do have some viewers that are from Canada and some that are from other parts of the world. So uh, Future Farmers of America are uh, individuals that would be learning a lot about agriculture and how it applies and different things that they can really do to be able to formulate all of those uh all those skills into a life life skill set as well as uh 4h which actually stands for uh head heart hands and health and it's another agricultural group in the united states that really lean, leans towards providing the youth a chance to learn about agriculture and how it can apply in their adult lives as well. So they're both great organizations. They're actual actual real life organizations that really do help out a bit from what I understand. So I did try to put that into the build. Just to add a bit of realism. And here you're going to see me struggling with the gutter system <laughs> trying to figure out how to funnel the rainwater, snow runoff, what have you, into uh, into our buckets. And so I'm just going to be quiet now here for a minute as it finishes up. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this speed build and come back next week for more great fun speed builds. Now let's do a quick walk around of our information station. Here we have non-functioning sliding doors. We have some ATMs and help us save them. And also we have some donation bins, a bunch of education, some really custom made desks that I found on the internet. I thought looked really cool. We have two of those, one for each side. Of course, we have plenty of vendors to staff them. And then some really interesting lighting and as you can see our desks have lights as well a nice soft light in here nothing too harsh in case the guests are in here at nighttime lights over the atms and then if we go back outside not a whole lot of lighting on the outside but it definitely draws your attention inside with all the lights during the evening and then we have our souvenir shop directly across the street plenty of lighting there lots and lots of lighting and here we have our brand new greenhouse i really wasn't sure what to do as far as the uh, gutters are concerned you see i've got a pillar kind of holding them up right there and on this side as well dr wilder was very adamant about the fact that we needed to try and collect what little rainwater that we'll get here to reuse to water our plants and really wasn't sure what color lights to go with on the inside 
and honestly it's not that realistic considering that the lights are your electrical is integrated into your plumbing but hey <laughs> like i said not gonna be the height of realism here however we do have some uh, and i don't know why the tables seem to have raised themselves that is absolutely ridiculous they were much lower don't know what happened there but we do have shelving here with all of our with all of our shovels and rakes over here table is again much too high but we do have uh shovels at every station for anyone if they're going to be planting or doing anything plenty of boxes and storage and buckets and watering cans and then here's where the water actually funnels down and into our rain collection system and once that is full we can also utilize that to water all of our plants in here. I have a little wagon over here in the corner. And of course, this sign for the 4-H and another sign on this side for the FFA. And again, the water collection system. It doesn't run the entire building, but it does run the majority of it. You gotta love the music coming from the souvenir shop. And in here, as you saw earlier, it is very, very well lit. And, you know, just a little bit of a... Just a little bit of grass peeking in is okay. A little bit of bringing the inside out. We still have our restrooms right over here. If we come over here and look at our zoo entrance, you see that we have our trade center right here with the keypad to be able to access the building around the front. Nice uh, zoo office sign. Could have put zoo administration on there, but I didn't think about that. And we have another staff room right over here. We have our vet clinic over here and then around back we have our quarantine building so these will be our actual buildings that we will be utilizing this was another image that i found online that actually took quite a bit of time to try and replicate in planet zoo some of the building pieces just didn't want to work properly but that's that's half of the fun i think it turned out pretty good i'm pretty happy with that and then there's currently no path to it because it doesn't support anything else. But if we go all the way out this way and around the corner, Dr. Benjamin Wilder's last request was his house. He wanted to have a house on property. That way, if something were to happen with one of our animals during the night, he would be available. He would be on call. So here you can see he has his little side by side. I didn't build that. That is definitely a workshop item. And unfortunately, I do not remember right off where I got that. Hopefully to have that linked down in the description below. And then a little bit of decoration, not too much. Didn't do a whole lot to the house. Run in here real quick. And you can see just a very bare living room. A little bit of plantage in here. We have our little archer man, angry archer measuring. And he does have a bed, so. And part of a kitchen. I started working on the kitchen. And really just honestly ran out of time before needing to get this episode out this week. So I will probably continue this and hopefully have a finished product by the next episode. And he'll have a beautiful, beautiful look at the zoo as we continue it next week. So with that being said, I really hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please, if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and leave comments down in the comment section. I love reading your comments and I try my best to respond to absolutely every comment that is left. I may miss some every now and then, but if you have questions or just want to say hi, put it down in the comment section below. But thank you so much for your time this evening. I hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you in the next one.